Hello everyone! In this video I show you how to assemble the Canon 17-40mm USM lens. Recently I had this lens which had dust and fungus inside the lens, so I had to completely disassemble it, clean the lens element and then assemble it. In this video I show you how to assemble the lens. I have three other videos about this lens. The first one is about completely disassembling the lens. The second one is about disassembling the USM motor, cleaning the focus strip and then assembling the USM motor. And the third video is about cleaning the dust between the first and the second lens element. If you are interested in them, then the links are in the description below. Before I will start, let me talk about the tools that I will use to assemble the lens. I will use a PH30 screwdriver, metal tweezers and a wood screw. If you are interested in buying them, then the links are in the description below. I hope this video will be useful, helpful, informative and adds value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. Also, there's an update section in the description. If I have anything to add to this video after it has been posted, then I add it there. So I would highly recommend to check it. So, let's get started. Let's start the assembly of this Canon 17-40mm lens by putting back the aperture unit into the lens tube. The flex cable should go through that hole. Put back the plastic cover ring. Put back the secondary aperture unit. The aperture level should be at that cutout. Use the tweezers to align the place of the screw with the hole. Put back the screw collars to the place where they were removed from. Also make sure that the marks are aligned, so the screw colors are at the same position as they were there originally. The first two uh, screw colors are eccentric, so they can be used for calibrating the lens, so they should be put back exactly the same position as they were there originally. The third one, the black one, is a normal screw color, so there's no marks on it. Put back the screws.
put in the focusing lens element. Make sure that the mark is at the cutout. To make sure that the lens element stays clean, I use a microfiber cloth to put it back. Twist the focusing lens elements back and forth to make sure that it is at the correct place. Put together those two lens elements and make sure that those two cutouts are aligned. Put back the aperture lens unit. The flat cable should be at that cutout. Align the place of the screws with the holes in the outer lens tube. Put back the lens colors. Move the inner lens elements so that you can put back the next set of screw colors. Put back the next set of screw colors. Put back the screws. Check if you can zoom back and forth. There is an eccentric uh, screw collar in the lens. Move back to the same position as it was there originally.
Put back the metal screw collar into the aperture lever. Put back the focusing lens unit. Those two cutouts should be aligned. Put back the three screw collars, then the screws. Check if the zooming works. If it is, then the lens is assembled correctly so far. Let's continue with the rear of the lens. Put back the gasket, the lens element and then the other gasket. Put back the screws. Put back the lens part which holds the focusing lever. Those two parts should be connected. Put back the screw. Put back the top of the focus level holder and then the screw into it. Make sure that the marks are aligned and then put back the screw. Let's continue with putting back the front lens element. Make sure that marks are aligned. Put back the three screws.
put back the USM motor. Slide the USM motor onto the lens and make sure that the flat cables are not damaged. Make sure that focus lever goes into its holder. Those two holes should be aligned. Put back the four screws which are holding the USM motor. Put back the two screws into the flex cables. Put back the zoom levers. Clean the flex cable. Put back the focus brush. Put back the filter holder. Those two cutouts should be aligned. Put back the screws.
The next step would be to put back the front lens cover, but I would recommend to uh, clean the front lens element before doing that. Put back the front lens cover. The Canon EF lens on the front lens cover should be at the name of the lens, which is on the side of the lens. Put back the front cap to protect the front lens element. Clean the focus scale if it got dirty. Put back the manual focus ring. Put back the lens covering. Make sure that the window is at the name of the lens, which is written on the side of the lens. Pull out the flat cables from inside of the lens very carefully. Put back the screws. Put back the zoom ring. Align the focal numbers which is written on the focus uh, ring with the front of the lens, then put back the two white limiter rings. Align the hole on the zoom ring with the zoom lever underneath it. Put back the screw collars and the screws. Put back the zoom rubber ring. Put back the PCB.
Put back the two screws. Clean the cable connectors if they are dirty. Connect the flat cables. Put back the rear cover ring. The white line should be at the front of the lens. Put back the rubber gasket on the metal bayonet, then put back the bayonet on the rear of the lens. The three screws on the side of the metal bayonet should be at the electronic connector. Put back the four bigger screws into the metal bayonet, then the two smaller ones into the electronic connector. Clean the rear lens element, then put back the rear lens cover. Finally, put back the rear lens cap, and then we are done with assembling the lens. I hope this video was useful, helpful, informative and added value to you. If that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel or send me a donation. The links are in the description below. If you have anything to add to this video, then share it in the comment section below. So thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time in my other videos.